Have you ever been drunk or high and came up with this truly amazing idea but then became sober and realized it wasn't as amazing as you thought it was? If so, what was the idea? A friend of mine called me around 3 o'clock in the morning about a fantastic, groundbreaking idea he had for getting sunburn on your feet. He wears crocs a lot, so I was actually kinda interested. Okay, okay, so, like, cloth or something you can put on your feet that would keep you from getting sunburn from the holes. Socks? He was describing socks. The amount of people who invented socks in this thread is too dang high. To have a fast food spot that sold frozen meals already cooked, like you can order a heated up hot pocket, toaster strudel, chicken pot pie, etc. That would be called Applebee's. Whilst I I came up with the idea of making pens with white ink that would cover up any mistakes on white paper, realized not only that it had been done already but that I had one in my backpack next to where I keep the pen I use to write down the idea. I came up with that one in kindergarten my mom then told me about whiteout lol. I wanted to write them demanding partial credit because I hadn't heard of it so had the idea too. Mom said we were out of stamps. Running for my local school board, I had a lot of issues with the way the education works in our country and believed the best way to fix the system was by running an honest campaign and promising to fight for the change that would help kids learn better. Ultimately, I sobered up and realized an, at the time, unemployed, stoned 24 year old with no kids was not the best candidate. I'd vote for the unemployed guy who was pee off at the crappy education he received. The man has an axe to grind. The TV show Cheaters, except with stray cats, candid cameras catching cats being unfaithful with other neighborhood cats and a human host interviewing the cats getting cheated on, just like the TV show. Still kinda want this to be a thing in a sober mindset. This, but it's catching cats being unfaithful to their human owners by being fed by a neighbor who thinks they are a stray. Sugar bags, like tea bags but for sugar, tea and two sugars, one tea bag. Two sugar bags. As we were stoned as frick, my cousin holding up an empty tea bag filled with sugar and me trying to carefully tie it back up with a piece of cotton. My cousin disappointingly says sugar cubes. I got high one time and thought of a great business idea where everyone pays money to a pot and one person wins it all. Turns out the lottery already exists. Sounds more like a tontine. My friend is a lawyer and when he was in law school did the summer internship to Ghana studying international law. We were like two blunts deep and he came up with the brilliant idea to make chairs in Ghana because everyone he saw there was just sitting on the ground. He was convinced we could have made a fortune selling chairs. I had this idea that the Taken films should each focus on a different set of skills. Like Liam Neeson could be an amazing chef in Taken 2, and perhaps a postman in Taken 3. Honesty this sounds like a much better version of what we got, but I still wanted to involve saving a kidnapped person somehow. I thought it would be practical if you would have a tag with your address written on it attached to your keys, so if you ever lost them they can be sent back. Seemed brilliant to me. Thieves might enjoy this idea as well. My bank does something cool that solves that problem. A keychain with a dog tag that has a specific code that the bank registers to your address. If you lose your keys, anyone who sees them can throw them in a mailbox and they'll be sent back to you. One time I woke up in the middle of the night with an idea. A revolutionary idea. Something I needed to write down as fast as possible so I wouldn't forget. So I wrote it down and went back to sleep. I woke up, looked at the piece of paper, and all it said was pens oil mini wheats. I've never quite figured out what I was thinking. A pot or bowl with holes in it so that you didn't have to use a wire mesh strainer to strain spaghetti. I had drawings and everything. People around me were like crap. This thing is going to make millions. Next day. Dude, that's a calendar. My notes app is full of liquor weed soaked epiphanies and revelations from my younger years. My favorite reads, any boy that has the pineapple is a good boy. Correct. My niece drunk texted me and went on and on about her idea for party popper tampons. She wanted to make tampons that shot out string and confetti when you pulled the string. It was all something about women celebrating their freedom and vaginas. It was a very confusing 2am series of texts when she was just supposed to let me know she made it home safe from her night out.
this gets funnier the more I read it. When I did shrooms, I came up with the absolutely genius idea that NASA should employ young children and send them to space for missions because they have more natural curiosity and aren't jaded yet by adulthood and they might notice things that a more experienced astronaut would miss because they all look from a different perspective. I was convinced I needed to email NASA right away and tell them about my brilliant epiphany. They also have less weight, saving expensive fuel. I had this idea for a movie in a similar vein of Cabin in the Woods, where these people move into a haunted house, except the plot is from the antagonist's perspective, where the ghosts haunting the house treat it like a job, and have interviews in front of a camera, reality show style, venting about how tedious the little aspects of the job are. The premise was this ghost had reluctantly picked up and followed his family to this new house in order to keep haunting them, and inadvertently stepped on another ghost's jurisdiction, and they'd bicker about who haunts who. Antics ensue. I realize now that this is more or less just what we do in the shadows. Dang you taker. Yours sounds equally as amusing and fully worthy of its own film. There are lots of films out there with basically the same premise. My grand idea was to put caramelized onions in my hamburger helper. Yeah it was good but not as mind blowing as I thought it would be when I was high as a kite. I have a running note on my phone with my ideas I have well intoxicated. I think my best one is what if there was a queer eye spin-off called Third Eye where hippies and conspiracy theorists try to awaken people who are already happy with their lives. Most of them are just dumb with such highlights as future math will be cool and there's a lot of cute animal behavior. I was thinking that kids these days need more time on the road to be better drivers, so maybe Uber should partner with driving education groups and like subsidize them or pay the kids in college bonds or whatever. Yeah maybe hiring a bunch of terrible drivers for your taxi services isn't such a great idea. One time when I was tripping I wrote down this whole page of numbers and swore it was the answer. The answer to what I don't know lol I just kept saying it's all about the digits. Here's a good one from my list of hideys. Dumpsters, trash cans, and dives, live a stream dumpster diving like American Pickers Storage Wars, but completely bulls pricing guesses with fake accents. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't even be the worst thing on TV. Beer rocks. When drinking at an outdoor place, using plastic cups, you put fancy rocks in your beer so the cups don't blow over. Genius. Mine was similar, the theory was, the top half of the cup of beer tastes better than the bottom half, so we make cups that have the bottom half already full of something else, we invented smaller cups. Once while high my friends came up with an online call center for people who have anxiety while high to call, it was named TripAdvisor. These exist and do good around the globe, our trips it trips it me etc. When a football match goes into extra time, they should add a second ball. If it gets to half time without anyone scoring they add a third ball. I'm actually not sure this idea is a bad one. Bobby, you can't solve every problem using pinball logic. I was on acid and had a revelation that I had to make the next Google. I have no idea what it means to be the next Google but regardless it felt like the best idea in the world. The feeling of checking my notes app the next day for the grand idea I had and seeing be the next Google was hilarious. What you really need is some kind of hot tub time machine. Got really high and had the sudden realization that things that are lighter than air are the things that float. I wondered there's more than just helium that's lighter than air contents how come we don't have other ways to fill balloons and stuff then my friend goes ever heard of the Hindenburg Dumbass? See not a bad idea, so hydrogen is flammable, but if we are only using enough for one party worth of balloons, homemade hydrogen tanks, just add water and electricity. Not me but Paul McCartney. The first time he got high he apparently discovered the meaning of life and immediately went to write it down. When he woke up the next morning he looked at the paper and it said there are 7 levels. Yep, pre-melted cheese. Hear me out, we melt the cheese then freeze it, then any time you want melted cheese you just pop it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. A fire starting service, just go around, build fires for people, tend to them, drink beer, boom, then I wasn't high anymore. This gives me an idea for a movie involving the apocalypse. But instead of zombies, infected people are just really stoned. 
permanently. So now the whole planet is stoned. And whack but jobs like fire starting service are normalized. Pretty sure Seth Rogen is the lead in this movie. Always felt free throws in basketball slowed the game down too much. Felt instead they should have dunks instead. Where the player that was fouled has a running start from the 3 point line and the one who committed the foul is at the basket defending against the dunk. I suppose this could turn into an endless loop of fouling. I thought I invented breakfast tacos. When I shared my invention with my friends they asked me if I intended the wheel too. I ran upstairs and yelled at my husband why don't they make mittens for feet and he said you mean socks and I said oh yeah, socks. This makes me think of the German word for gloves, handschuh which literally translates to handshoes. You're basically reverse engineering the German language. Myself and two friends were extremely high and extremely hungry. We put all our money together and said that we would buy the most amount of food for the amount of money we had gathered. We had a total of 16 pounds. So our thought process was we could order 16 portions of chips french fries for you Americans. We had to call the takeaway three times before they would believe that it wasn't a prank. We convinced them we were throwing a party. The takeaway finally delivered it and myself and my other friend were too high to go to the door so we made friend 3 go by himself. All of the lights were off and there was no music playing so the delivery driver delivered 16 portions of chips to one man alone from his perspective. Needless to say, 16 portions of chips is too much food between 3 people. He ordered two 60 by 40 centimeters pizzas high as a kite all for myself. Got about 3 stroke 4 through the first until I gave up. Stomach aches for 2 days and a sense of self loathing to this day because I finished both of them within the next day. I don't drink or smoke, but a friend of mine was drunk and picked up a guitar, started playing, and thought he wrote the song Walk by Pantera. My friend got high and wrote Possum Kingdom by Toadies. One of my philosopher professors told a joke about a philosopher having a dream in which he met Socrates, but quickly saw the proper rebuttal to his views, which Socrates conceded. Then he met Aristotle, and Descartes, and Kant, and Nietzsche, and Mill and with each of them presented his contrary position successfully. He knew he was dreaming, but he thought I have to wake up enough to write this down he managed to become conscious enough that he quickly scrawled the words down on some paper, then fell asleep again. The next morning he woke up, remembered what had happened, and excitedly grabbed a note. It read yeah, that's what you say. Once, while thoroughly drunk. I ordered a pizza and it arrived overcooked. Crust was like dried asphalt and the toppings blackened and singed. So I pitched the idea to my other drunk buddies that pizza places should let their customers control the pizza oven through the internet. So we can decide when it's done. Which then led to an entire design your own pizza machine website combo. Where one could control exactly how much of each ingredient to add using robotic arms and you couldn't watch it cook live through an oven cam. Seemed brilliant at the time. My wife and I got this genius idea after smoking a fatty to create the next big hit in the snack world. Cup crepes. A cupcake made from many crepes stacked on top of one another topped with whipped cream and strawberries. Well a mill crepe cake is already a thing that exists, so I am certain that someone must have made a miniature version at some point. All you need to do is make it the next big food trend. Usually I make big plans that cost a lot of money and then promise sober people that we will do them. So they start to look forward to the plans. I sober up and regret all of my decisions yet still have to follow through. Most recent was that I promised my sister that I'd bring my daughter to visit her in Florida. $2000 later, I have a sunburn. Always do sober what you said you'd do drunk. That will teach you to keep your mouth shut. Ernest Hemingway. I was high. I made some killer mac and cheese and I saw that I had some bacon. So I cooked up the bacon and cut it into small pieces and put it on the mac and cheese. It was so goddang heavenly that I forgot bacon bits and bacon bits on mac and cheese already existed. In my fit of excitement I texted my friend my totally brand new never done before creation. And I was told that it already existed. I was extremely tired after working too many hours in my lab, and wanted to buy some groceries on the way home. My idea was to combine two types of shredded cheese Mexican 4 cheese mix, and Italian 6 cheese blend to make a 10 cheese melt sandwich. 10 cheeses in one sandwich. Can you believe it? 
When I was in high school, after a lengthy hot box one evening, I came up with a reverse candle which would consume carbon dioxide and produce oxygen while also providing shade. Everyone truly thought it was a good idea so we wrote it out on paper so we wouldn't forget. Later, the next day I had realized we invented trees. As teenagers, my friend and I used to get really stoned and go sit in this particular diner for hours and drink coffee until we sobered up. One time two cops in uniform came in and sat down a few tables away and ordered some food. At first we were kind of paranoid, but they didn't seem to be paying us any attention. My friend was the type of guy who liked to do wacky crap just to be funny, especially on a dare. He was also a big proponent of marijuana legalization. Like, he talked about it all the time. I told him I thought it would be hilarious to go up and ask the cops their thoughts on marijuana legalization. We were both still pretty baked and he thought it was a funny idea too. So on a whim he decided to do it. He took off his jacket and set it on the bench next to him and walked calmly over to their table and began talking with them. I couldn't hear what they were saying but the conversation appeared to be polite and lasted a minute or two. He came back to the table with a big stoned grin on his face. Oh man. Those cops seem okay to me. They both said they think weed should be legal and it's a waste of their time to go after pot smokers. A little while later the cops finished their food and left. One of them even smiled and nodded to my friend on the way out. We watched them get into their patrol car and drive out of the parking lot. We stayed for about another half hour and then left to catch the bus home. We got to the bus stop and just as we both lit up a cigarette a cop car pulled up with the same two cops inside. They had been sitting in the parking lot next door with their lights off waiting for us to come out of the diner. We obviously weren't old enough to be smoking cigarettes. And a check of our IDs confirmed that. They searched both of us and found a 5 sack of weed and a pipe in my friend's jacket. We both got tickets for underage smoking. He got cited for the pipe and marijuana, was given a court date, and taken home to his parents in the back of a police car. The whole story seemed so heartwarming and wholesome till you got caught. Hope it turned out alright in the end. Imagine Discord online voice chat. My idea was that you could create subrooms within the current channel. My thought process was, I want to have a conversation with one person but still want to kinda hear what my other friends are conversing about with other people in the channel but I don't want their conversation to interrupt my conversation and vice versa. So my thinking was that you join like a sub channel where everyone in that sub channel is at 100% volume and everyone else in the parent channel is at like 30% volume. So you could all be in the same parent channel but not really be a hindrance to one another but you could still sorta hear them if you wanted to. It seems like a good idea if you're high but then you realize it's just kinda pointless lol. I thought I was onto a massive breakthrough. The old voids had that, mumble, ventrilo. You could listen in on another room while you and whomever were in a separate room. You could hear them but they couldn't hear you. Cardboard boxes for kitty litter that open on the side like origami. Forms a litter box for cats. At the end of a week you fold it all up, throw it away and then open a new one. So much cardboard waste, because it would have to be treated to be water resistant on the inside and would be completely unrecyclable afterward. I made a soup sandwich while really high before. The soup obviously just destroyed the bread's integrity, and just fell out the sandwich. That was the first time in my life I realized just how dumb I am. Don't be so hard on yourself. I mean, bread bowls exist. Basically the same thing. Fake coffee table books. To frick with your guests. How to dispose of a body. Anal fisting 102. The next level. The big gay semen cookbook. I have to. 1. Turning a toaster sideways and putting in minipizzas to cook bake them rather than microwave them so they don't end up soggy. All the, the crumbs from the bottom of the toaster slid onto the heating element and smoked like crazy. Setting off my fire alarm at 3am. I guess I never dumped the crumb tray. 2. Carbonated soup. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.